Alright, so our pilot list, well, there's Okita, Kodai, Shima, Sanada, and Chitose. And the only two the only two mechs we have are the Yamato and the Vangre. Um I will talk about the the other the stats and all that at another time. Watashi wa Mecha Desu. What's up? So yeah, uh, you see here we have things like pilots list, mechs, search, skill programs, customization. So this is where you like upgrade your robots and stuff. You know, give them like stats. Uh, you give them stat. You give them some stats, um, and you basically make it better. And then of course you give it much better weapons. Fully upgrading mechs will uh, give it uh, extra. Will give it some extras. Yamato too. Yeah, there we go. Um, what else? We got bonus scenarios here. Oh, I already did try. Well, there are some. There are some playables. But that's for later. Then we've got skills, actually. We've got special skills, parameters, and special skills. Uh, these are new to... Th well, these are new to me. Because normally I only have... Uh, I'm only able to see like the status and stats of each pilot and upgrade them as well as give them uh, better robots. But as far as like skill trees and all that, those are new. But anyway, there's not really much else to look at here. So let's go to the next map. My ace bonus is okay, ta? Yeah! Altitude 2400, speed 28,000 and rising. Exiting Earth's atmosphere, switching to thrusters. Goodbye, Earth. Eh, <laughs> Murka. Of course, the Earth, the first, the biggest thing you see on Earth is Murka. First, the seas evaporated. Then Gamela's invasive plants took root and ruined the land. And to think we used to call it the Pale Blue Dot when we were younger. So, for those who are just catching up, this follows the story of space battleship Yamato 2199. The planet Gamelas launched a huge biological weapon that pretty much drained the entire Earth of water. And then, yeah, invasive plants. Biological warfare, 10 out of 10. Yamato's the last hope to sort of reverse all this shit. And we're here to do exactly that. Now I just wonder if it's even po now I just wonder if it's even possible to save it. Oh wait, no. Sorry, let me correct myself. Um they're going to be journeying to the planet of Iskandar to create a device or rather to get a device from the Iskandarians that will restore greenery. In short, the Fallout Gek. I just realized it, but it's Gek. They're literally going to go 168,000 light years to get the Gek. Travel back 168,000 light years, plop it on Earth. It's literally just the Garden of Eden creation kit. Now that now that I think about it, the simplest version to put it is just retrieving the Gek from Fallout. Oh boy, anyway. Is that a lack of confidence I hear? Absolutely not. There's a ship off the starboard, though. One of ours. It's the Kirishima. They must have dodged enemy fire hanging on till the bitter end. Okita, my brother in arms, I know what your body's been through, but the choice is yours. If this is what you want, I won't stand in your way. Godspeed, we're counting on you. Incoming transmission from Commander Hijikata. May the seas be calm and your battles victorious. So long, Pops. Pops? Oh, oh, um, Commander Hijikata was my guardian for a little while. I guess it kind of slipped out. I see. The Earth is yours now, Hijikata. We're counting on you. We will soon pass by the moon, charting a course for Mars at cruising speed. So yeah, Okita has a health condition. Good luck, Yamato. The fate of the Earth rests on your shoulders. Solar system! So we're gonna go all the way to Uranus. No, I'm kidding. Ugh. Now, are you going to tell me the truth? You keep asking me that and I keep telling you that I've told you everything there is to know. I voluntarily piloted the Van Ray, survived the battle in it, no less, and received an order to join up with the Yamato soon after. So that's what I did. You have to believe me. Hmm. He looked at me in the eye this time, which goes a long way toward erasing doubt. I'm telling you, we haven't done anything wrong, whether you doubt what we're saying or not. Easy now. There's a lot of doubt the present situation that no one understands. As you said, Ensign Kisaragi, 
The hatch was already open by the time he made your final approach. And inside Murakuma also passed through the checkpoint without incident when he arrived. Exactly, which means that somebody must have sent out these orders during the confusion surrounding the launch. So how about instead of taking it out on us, you focus your efforts on finding out who's pulling the strings aboard your ship. Pulling strings, you say? Suppose... Suppose what? Suppose we are stowaways. What then? Are you going to send us back to Earth? A fine question. We are already at cruising speed, and at present this voyage is time sensitive. They certainly can't turn back, nor do we have a craft with which to send you back. Do we get to stay aboard then? Don't get too excited. They could still blast us into space like they did the stowaways back in the day. We've, we've come a long way since the age of exploration. We are not to lay a finger on you until Commander Okita has been informed of the current situation. So please talk to the commander. Convince him to let me stay on board the Yamato. I'll pilot the Vangri. Oh, hold on. Wet. Hello, Taru. Welcome. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'll pilot the Vang Ray. I'll fight if you tell me to. I'll do odd jobs around the ship. Anything. Calm yourself, Ensign Kisaragi. I don't have that kind of authority as it is. That will be all, Officer Hoshina. These two are free to go. Are you serious? They have been assigned to the tactical officer for the time being. That would be me, Lieutenant Susumu Kodai. I have taken responsibility for you. I it's you! Good to see you again, Ensign Kisaragi. I wish it were under better circumstances. So you're the Yamato's tactical officer now. It hasn't quite sunk in yet, but I aim to carry out my duties to the best of my ability. Now that I've been granted permission to remain on board, I too shall commit myself to the Yamato. I admire your resolve, but I have a lot of questions about the Vang Ray that need answering first. I'd like you and Ensign Murakumo to accompany me to the hangar. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Ensign Kisaragi. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I look forward to working alongside you. Sorry for all the trouble, Hoshina. Catch you later. They certainly got released pretty quickly. Likely because security released a statement proclaiming their innocence as well. Why? Apparently they may be allies that were rerouted. That's absurd. Either way, I think we'd better keep them on their toes for a I think with assigning a security detail to keep an eye on them. Understood. I got my game sir T4 Pro Controller and the shit is good. I've heard about the well, I've heard that Game Sir has a reputation for being really good controllers. Or cheap too. Officer Sanada, I brought Ensign's Chitoseki Sanagi and Soji Murakumo with me. Thank you, Kodai. Ensign Kisaragi, I am Lieutenant Commander Shiro Sanada, the Executive and Technical Officer. Lieutenant Niimi and I have, have, have been examining the machine you were piloting. Lieutenant Kaudu Niimi, Information Officer. A pleasure. The pleasure is mine. I am proud to call myself a member of the Yamato crew regardless of the process by which I became one. We'll see what the commander says about the details. For now, he's taken great interest in this machine. I would very much like to thank the commander in person should the opportunity present itself. We analyzed it for potential threats, but found none. Oh good! If I'm honest, it was the Vang Ray that saved me and gave me the power to fight back. Based on its construction, we thought it was a type of mobile suit, but we couldn't find any schematics for it in our database, which means it is a custom design made without proper clearance from the Federation. Do you know anything about it, Chitose? Tactical Lab must have developed it, right? Cheaper than 8-bit do? I I'm not familiar to, I'm not too familiar with 8-bit do. And the ABXY buttons are so fucking tactile. Yeah, that's the thing I've heard about them. They're like really, really fun to press. And I think they're also pretty sturdy too, as far as games or controllers are concerned. Generally just a huge bang for your buck is what I've heard. At the very least, I know that there was nothing like it in the hangar as recently as a few days ago. So it must have been smuggled in from somewhere. Whoa, 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 officer. With all due respect, it could have been just a rush job slapped together over the past few days. That's simply not possible. I feel compelled to offer that having piloted it, the Vangray is quite impressive. 
It has as much thrust as it does firepower, not to mention its own repair apparatus. I'm just not sure what they were after with this design. At first I couldn't control the speed or firepower, but the Mang Ray manages both of those automatically when engaged in battle. Interesting. If it weren't for the Mang Ray, I'm not confident I would have been able to protect the Yamato. Sounds to me like we owe this machine a debt of gratitude. Officer Sanada? Hmm, this is a fascinating system. If I learned to pilot it more effectively, it could become an asset to the Force. Like your readiness, rookie. Are you talking to me? I certainly am. I'm Lieutenant Junior Grade Saburo Kato, Captain of the aircraft, sc aircraft Squad to which you've been assigned. And I'm Ensign Hiroki Shinohara, the Vice Captain. Welcome aboard. Ensign Chitasei Kisaragi, a new recruit with a lot to learn, at your service. You're certainly energetic. May I call you Chitose? Oh, don't waste your time. I've been trying to get clearance to do that for a week straight, but no luck. Oh yeah, you're gonna make a great rival. I'd be honored to kick your ass. Ensign Murakumo, that's out of line! That goes to you, for you too, Shinohara. Don't, emb don't embarrass the aircraft squad. Well, Kato, I'll leave the rest of you now that I've introduced you to. Hold on, Nimi, let's go. It's almost time for the briefing. 8-bit Deuce Ultimate Controllers for 2K, T4 Pro is only 1.2K. If I added if I added 300 bucks, I would have gotten the T4 Collide. Uh, how much better would the T4 Collide be? Ensign Kisaragi, you should know that that machine has some sort of pilot verification system on board. No one but you can pilot it now. You and I are going to analyze it when we have more time. Yes, sir. I'd be happy to assist. There's a lot li I'd like to learn for myself. Very well. Please excuse me. Excuse me, Lieutenant Kato. What's the current status of our assignment? We've had an extensive look at your record. Does that mean I'm on the aircraft squad? Yes, but we don't have a craft to assign you. That means you'll be on the reserve corps. Say what? Isaragi is as well. That affords us plenty of time to figure out how to use the bang ray. Understood. So what will you have me do? We have some pressing needs in accounting. If you need help managing goods, I'm the woman for the job. That was one of the assignments back in the lab. Hello, Kato. Might these be the new recruits who have been assigned to accounting? Sure are. Good luck, Akira. I'm Ensign Akira Yamamoto. Allow me to show you the accounting department. Oh yeah, the accounting life looks thrilling. I'll only say this once, Murakumo. If you so much as lay a finger at Akira, you'll have to contend with the entire aircraft squad. L -l Roger that. L loud and clear, sir. Don't worry, Lieutenant Kato. I'll keep an eye on Ensign Murakumo. See to it that you do, Kisaragi. I reward you with combat training. Please do! Okay then, let's go. I'll start by introducing you to Lieutenant Hirata. They're quite the eager new recruits, aren't they? Indeed. I wouldn't want her to die if I were you. What are you trying to say? I'm talking about Akira. He still seems to have an interest in the squad. I can't let her suffer the same fate as Yamamoto. Daughter of a fallen comrade or not, I think you're worrying a little bit too much. So what you're telling me is that Yama Akira Yamamoto is actually a really good pilot, but Kato decided to put her into accounting because another one, her, her mother, as presum yeah, presumably, yeah, her mother died, and yeah, fair. They always do that. E4K has its own software and has the option to toggle from driving standard to hair trigger mode on the trigger buttons. Uh, what do you mean? Wait. So, kind of like a dual shock where if you press on the trigger, if you press just lightly on the trigger, it's kind of like half input. Something like that. So, Aki, where exactly is the Yamam Yamato right now? Hm. Yeah, half input, hair trigger. Okay. Ahem. What are the Yamato's coordinates at present, Ensign Yamamoto? I hear we're heading for Mars. Mars? Like on the way to Iskandar or something? I don't know the specifics, but it sounds like we need to stop there to restock before continuing. Um, Ensign Yamamoto, may I ask a question? Akira is fine, and I'll call you Chita say instead. Got it. Thank you, Akira. Hey, what's with the double standard? Now, uh, what was your question? You're not required to answer, but I've noticed you have red eyes. Are you from Mars? I am. Arcadia City, to be exact. Between the Jupiter War and Gamelus attacks, I heard almost everyone had returned to Earth. 
which makes me wonder what business we have on Mars. Gee, I wonder too. Well, we're in the war room. Yep, for FPS or shooter. Okay, so basically just lightly tapping the triggers is going to just full on send it uh, so that you can pretty much fire quickly. Got it. And then driving standard is probably the one where the more you press down on it, the more it, you know, does the thing. Which is great for driving games because you can control the throttle. Uh, that's actually how I'm able to play, that's actually how I'm able to play Gran Turismo Sport on the PS5 without needing a steering wheel. It's that, uh, PS4 rather. Without needing a steering wheel, I can still sort of control the brake and throttle to the best of my ability. Ladies and gentlemen, even at the speed of light, its journey to Iskandar and back would take 336,000 years. We're in it for the long haul. Yep, we just have to make that journey in one year. Hmm, how do we... In order to accomplish this, we will have to surpass light speed, traveling instead at warp speed. We will open an artificial wormhole and use it to travel substantially faster than the speed of light, emerging at our destination on the other end. I'm not an expert, but is that even possible? Theoretically, yes. If our timing is off, however, it is entirely possible that we could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. In other words, we must be extremely careful when using the wave motion engine. Fortunately, we left Earth without one of the parts needed to ensure the engine's safe operation. Now I get it. The part we need must be on the Martian base. Earth has already run out of the resources and equipment needed to build a proper spaceship. We believe the only capacitors capable of driving the wave motion engine are on Mars. And if there are any troops left on Mars, we wouldn't even have to land. They could just send it to us. In your dreams, there isn't a single soul left on that rock. Mars was declared officially deserted after everyone emigrated and the army withdrew. But some people have fled to Mars now that now that the Gambalans have focused their attacks on Earth. Now that you mention it, your crew was stationed on Mars in order to make contact with the Iskandarian envoy, wasn't it Kodai? We were. And now that Mars is no longer under attack, some people are trying to eke out a living there. Remember, we have an obligation to save the other plants of the solar system if we are to save Earth. Yes, sir. Dot dot dot. What's wrong, Ori? Tasha's been laid to rest on Mars, hasn't she? All alone. Yes. Yes, she has. I need that hair trigger for Bayonetta. Then go get yourself a Game Sir controller, sir. Alright, scenario two. The Pirates of Mars. We have completed our descent. I'll have visuals on the Altinia base shortly. That's definitely the Altinia base site. Looks like we're finally in for a lonely landing though. We can't waste a lot of time. Let's get the materials we need and get to work. I'm picking up something on radar. It's a... Formal suit inbound. Based on the type it belongs to the Jupiter Empire. Impossible. I thought they got wiped out in the Jupiter War two years ago. Jupiter's ghosts have resurrected Mars, haven't they? Based on a quick survey of the situation, it looks like they've commandeered the Altinia base altogether. Commander, the Jupiter Empire has entered combat preparations. Aihara, open every communications channel we've got. Yes, sir. This is Juzo Okita, commander of the Earth Federation Forces Yamato. We require materials from the Altinia base for a mission of great import for all humanity. We wish to negotiate for the materials we need. Nope, no negotiations, only boom. They're attacking! I guess they're not open to negotiating. They're forcing our hand. Wait, Commander. The Yamato is designed to fight against the Gamulas. Turning its cannons on humans would... The Yamato was built to make the journey to Iskandar Kodai. You would do well to remember that. Human or not, they are obstacles on the journey to Iskandar. Even if they're from Earth? We fight evil, Kodai. But... I'll say it again. We fight evil. Especially the evil that finds its way into people's hearts. Get to your battle stations, everyone. Top tier voice acting. I know, right? The battle to reclaim the Altinia base begins now. All gunners prepare for fire. Gunners prepare to fire! We must crush all opponents that stand in the way of our progress. That's an order. Okay. SR point condition. Before a map clear, defeat at least 4 enemy units with 1 ally pilot. You can check your kills in the tactical report screen. 
If enemy is killed by a support attack, the kill will count towards the pilot who supported. Okay. So basically just get all get get Yamato to kill everybody. Cool, got it. Okay, this control is gonna get this control will take some time to get used to. What the fuck this game? I know. IKR. So I just need to give the Yamato four kills, right? Pez Batala, Beam Axe, Pulse Laser. What other attacks can I... Okay, only the Pulse Laser. Fine, let's show you guys what the Pulse Laser looks like. Attention crew, this will be the first substantial battle of the Yamato. However, we must not lose sight of our mission, which is to travel to Iskandar at all costs. Think of this mission as a, not to eradicate our enemies, but to extend our lives. Now that stopped your voice acting. Okay, wait. Uh yeah, there is actually an ace there is actually an ace bonus for him, too. Like if I think if you give him like 50 kills, then yeah. I think it's 50 score for ace pilot, I forgot. Anyway, we've got things okay, so. This is okay, so one thing I guess you guys should know about Super Robot Wars games, if you ever want to get into them, almost every Super Robot Wars game has the same order in when it comes to the menu. So same grid same grid, same menu. Like the first action will always be move, then attack, then uh, EX action and EX order. These are own these are exclusive to B. But then there's land or fly. And then the very last is Stats and the very first is spirits. So, spirit or seishin are basically skills that give you either yeah allows one ally unit to completely evade attacks for one battle or recovers 3,000 HP. Um, then there's increases damage dealt to one enemy for one turn and decreases damage taken from that enemy by 10%. Uh, that's one uh, accuracy to 100% for one turn. Increases movement by three. Recover HP. So you have things like those. Uh, for now, though, let's check out both torpedoes. I'll show you guys what the bow torpedoes look like. <laughs> Also, hey Mil, what's up? Musta? How are you guys? Wait. What about Napin Setaru and Sumil? Hey, what's up? Okay. For some reason my Twitch chat is acting super weird. And if I like if I tab out of the game it kind of turns off the audio so I have to check settings for that too. Anyway, we've already seen the main cannon and shock cannon. Um we're not going to do volley of fire. So, we're just going to keep on turning off the uh, we'll just turn off the demo for this. All right. Sanada for and Shima all level up to 2. Will the aircraft squad be deployed? We have no orders to do so. I could understand that all of these were Gamillans, but the fact that we're facing off against mobile suits says to me that we should be out there too. Commander Okita must consider this some sort of combat test for the Yamato. I'm picking up more signals on radar. 
We've got more mobile suits inbound. Ugh, enemy reinforcements? Not quite. Ally reinforcements is more like it. Does that Gundam have a skull on it? Commander, they're crossbone Gundams. The crossbones! The same pirates who brought route of the enemy in the Jupiter War. I can't believe they're on Mars. Incoming transmission from the Gundam. Reading verbatim. This is Tobia Iron after the Crossbone Vanguard. We got your back. Thank him for his cooperation at once. Aye, sir. Deploy the Vanray, Kodai. Along with the Cosmo Falcon Squadron, sir? Negative, just the Vanray. On it, sir. Why are they sending so many troops to Mars? Is the Jupiter Empire using Mars as a stepping stone to attack Earth? Mobile units fall in on the Yamato's position. We'll be able to turn the tide of our battle in our. We'll be turn. We'll be able to turn the tide of battle in our favor if you may remain within easy reach. If you drift too far out of the range of the Yamato's comms, we're going to be in big trouble. We were just supposed to travel to Iskander. Now we're teaming up with a Gundam pirate to fight the Jupiter Empire on Mars. This is crazy. We can't let the Jupiter Empire walk all over us. Now. They'll destroy Earth. Wait, what was it Officer Sandra said about the pilot verification system? Was there something about it I needed to know? Come in, Kisaragi. This is the captain speaking. You have one order. Make it back alive. That is all. How's it that, Captain? You have my word. So, four enemy units with one ally pilot. So that means, um, in this case, uh, I just need someone in here to get four kills. And the guy who's gonna get it is... Good old... Good old Okita, right? At least that's what I can tell. We could probably... Oh, we could actually try shooting the main cannon Type 3. That's fun. 87? 99. Okay, fine. We'll go 99. Uh, spirit... No. Support... Uh... Okay, fine. Let's have support. So good. That's so good. There we go. There's our SR point. That was flawless. But this is what it's like to work under Juzo Okita, Earth's greatest commander. Don't fall asleep on the job, Kodai. You've got to confirm that the battle has ended. Yes, sir. We can do this. With this man at the helm, it doesn't matter who or what stands in our way. Okay, we'll just let the Yam uh, we'll let the we'll let, we'll let the Yamato chill and uh, we'll just we'll just have everybody else do the thing. I'm representing the entire aircraft squad. I'd better be at peak performance. Well, Dangri, we promised Captain Kato we'd make it back alive. We had better make good on our word. Nice dodge. Good shit. Alright, Tobia. Your turn. Screw web. I have no idea what this is, but let's see what happens. Ah, the Jupiter Empire. Do they think they can use Mars as a stepping stone to attack Earth? Don't they know what's happened? There's no point in torturing the Earth anymore. Okay, anything else? No? Oh, right, and you have to manually end the turn, no matter what you do. 
Head Vulcan. Oh wait, I haven't seen the Head Vulcan. Fine, let's start. Imagine if he says something like Kaizoku O. If he if he says something like about the Pirate King instead. That'd be funny. Alright, let's see what we got. The Zan Buster, what's that? Oh, the Zan okay, I don't know what that is exactly, but let's see what it looks like. Oh, so it's a beam rifle. So the Zan Buster is just a beam rifle. This is now level 3. Enemy forces eradicated. The Altenia base is officially liberated. Now we just need to retrieve the materials inside. I want to know more about the Empire's movements. Aihara, make contact with that London. Yes, sir. Incredible! I mean, I'd heard the rumors, but now I've got a front row seat. Gundams are no ordinary mobile suits. If that Gundam joined us aboard the Yamato, there's no telling what we could do. So things on Earth really are that bad? Yes, but the Yamato to launched to try and turn the situation around, and it'd be disastrous if the Jupiter Empire mounts an invasion like they did two years ago. The Federation just couldn't stop it, could they? Mr. Aronax. Tobia is fine. Can I ask you a question about yourself? Go ahead. I was still at officer school during the Jupiter War, but I heard about the exploits of the Crossbone Vanguard Space Pirates, and it turns out their ace pilot is younger than me. You were just a boy during the Jupiter War, right? The ace you're asking about, the pilot of the X-1, I mean, was someone else then at Kodai. Though I did fight in the Jupiter War as well. I thank you for clarifying. I wish to thank you for your crew for taking on the Jupiter Empire in place of the Federation. We had no other choice. The planet bomb hadn't arrived and the Federation had its hands full with the Gamelus. And now things are even worse. My crew and I have taken up the Crossbone Vanguard mantle from Bera Rona and her crew. We're just doing what we can. Si Bera, wait, was Bera Rona the actual first pilot of the Crossbone X1? I don't know because I haven't actually watched Crossbone Gundam. So, you know, Mecha Enjoyers, please fill me in on any other details I've missed. We rescue survivors from Gamela's ravaged colonies and battle those who would take advantage of chaos in order to rob others. We initially supported those who escaped the Mars as part of that endeavor, but that proved difficult when the Jupiter Empire reappeared. Are they going to invade Earth again? Hello, Lily Pods, and okay, thanks, Q. I can't say for sure. The Earth is crippled. It'll just waste away even if they don't attack it. What's the point? Rox Dogati, supreme leader of the Empire, was after a very personal type of revenge, and he wanted to wipe out the Earth in order to satiate his bloodlust. Now that he's been defeated, however, I can't think of anyone among those who remains who shares such all-consuming rage toward Earth. And yet here we are, they're building an army on Mars. Certain regions have taken catastrophic levels of damage, and after all these people have been through, after they try to escape to Mars. We fought with all we had, but the X-1 is the only decent suit in our possession. That said, we were able to destroy the Jupiter Empire forces that landed. I don't think we'll learn any more about their plans unless we pay their stronghold a visit. By which you mean a visit to Jupiter itself. What do you say, Kodai? Care to hire us as your guides to Jupiter? Did you say hire you? Just think of us as your bodyguards. 
You could even get him to make the first move if you set a course that goes right by Jupiter. I don't have that kind of authority. I can't send the Yamato to war with the Jupiter Empire. Let me rephrase that then. Take me and my crew to Jupiter. We don't have the means to reach Jupiter ourselves, but we can't let the Empire rest out if they're in fact rebuilding. This was your angle from the start, wasn't it? It's not the worst idea though, is it? In fact, it's kind of a win-win. You might be right. I'll speak to the commander myself. Have you finished talking, Lieutenant Kodai? Yes, Officer Nimi. Did you find the wave motion engine capacitor? We did, thankfully. Tokugawa's engineers are already working on it. Good. It sounds like we've cleared the first hurdle. Oh, and I brought someone aboard. How'd it go, Tobia? Bernadette! Lieutenant Kodai here says he'll make a proposal to the commander for us. Are you also a member of the Crossbone Vanguard? I'm Bernadette Briette. Thanks for taking us to Jupiter. Wait a minute. What does she mean, us? We're the only ones from the Crossbone Vanguard who will be traveling to Jupiter. The remaining members will remain on Mars, assisting the survivors and defending it from the Empire. But if you go to Jupiter, you'll be... I've been to Jupiter before, Captain. Let's just say I'm the Crossbone Vanguard's resident expert on Jupiter. Or we could say I'm Tetanith Dogati, daughter of Supreme Leader Crux Dogati. You know what I've noticed about Gundam? They really love to pull off this entire... Oh, I, I'm assuming a different identity, but really, think of me as the daughter of the evil bad guy. Didn't they do this with Minerva? With Wait, was it Minerva in Unicorn? They did this with... And, and it almost always seems to be a yellow-haired purse. It almost always seems to be a blonde. Uh, examples of... Examples of blondes in Gundam with identities. Char Aznable, Quattro Bajina. Char Aznable. I don't actually know if it's Aznable or, uh, Aznable or Aznable. But Char and Quattro are the same. Bernadette and Tetanith apparently are the same. Minerva and I forgot her I forgot her al I forgot her alias, but I know Minerva was was pretty much is pretty much a from Unicorn. I can't remember, but she's Zeon. I just know that. Again, fill me in on things I don't know or am wrong about. I appreciate corrections. I'm just here to enjoy a game. You can't be serious. There were official records that claim Crux Dogati had a daughter, but... I never would have guessed you'd be at the heart of the very group that brought the Empire down. That's precisely why I cannot stand idly by while the Jupiter Empire rebuilds. Understandably. I will alert the commander to your presence as well. Thank you. So the Yamato is venturing far beyond the Milky Way in order to save Earth. We've got to do our part to protect Earth from the Empire, lest their journey be in vain. 